Hi, it's Adrian, and how are you doing today? And I wanted to work with a ColourPop palette that I haven't done a lot with, and it didn't fit into the anime uh, video, and that's a really good video if you want to go ahead and check it out. And then um, as far as I went in, what I went ahead and did today, we'll go ahead and get started. And let's see. I did go ahead and start with the Bare Minerals uh, Complexion Rescue. I have mine in Vanilla 02, so that's what I have on there. And I did go ahead and use the L'Oreal True Match as well. And I had that in, let's see, LM1. So these are the two base products that I have on today. As far as what I went ahead and did for my bronzer, I used the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer in Sunrise. So that's what I have on there. And then I did use a combination of blushes today. I started off with the Bare Minerals and the Kiss of Rose. And then I did go ahead and use the ColourPop Flamingo on top of that. So these are the two that I have on as far as blush today. Went ahead and again combined uh, highlighters. This is a really fun highlighter if you have a chance to pick it up. I think I got it over at Target and it's Revolution Bubble Balm. And it's actually um, these little uh, pearl beads in this uh, balm. But it isn't sticky at all. And you put it on sort of like this. It does give you a pearly kind of look to it. But again, it's really fun. And if you have a chance to pick it up, it's a really fun highlighter. Um, I have mine in, let's see, the rose. But I think it comes in some other colors as well. And then the other one I went ahead and used with this today was the Unusual Beauty Highlighter. And I did go ahead and use this shade. The Unusual Beauty, you can go ahead and pick up over at Timu. And so that's what I I went ahead and did there. As far as the palette that I did use, I used a Heavy Petal by ColourPop. And this one was actually in their sales section. I think it's still there. It was there two or three days ago when I checked. And so uh, this is what I have on my face today. Um, I did go ahead and use this color in the crease, this color in the outer corner. And then the purple, I went ahead and put from here to here, and then from here to here. And so I have a whole bunch of this iridescence purple. It's really a pretty color, really pretty shade. And so, yeah, it's, um, it, uh, it's definitely a duochrome, and so it's a really fun color. I also went ahead and used this one. It's one of their new formula uh, glitters, and I went ahead and put that in the crease and then right below the brow, so that's adding a lot of shine in. The other thing that I did was I went ahead and added in a ColourPop Jelly Nut Shadow, and this one is close to you, so it's a really fun sparkly uh, pink and I have it on the lid today. I think it worked out pretty well. Um, I wasn't planning to go this pink. I thought it was going to go more burgundy but you know it worked okay. So um, I did actually use them right eyeliner as well and this is how the look turned out. So that's how that turned out today. As far as the lips, I started with a go-go, and this is a just attempt by ColourPop. Did go ahead and use the LA Color, um, let's see, this is the Shimmer Jelly Lip Gloss, and I didn't stop there. I went ahead and added in So Glassy by uh, ColourPop as well, and this one is in Cyberspace. So I have all three of these on. I think it turned out really pretty. So yeah, that's what I have on the lips and just, yeah, cyber, cyberspace. So yeah, 
that's what I have on there. I think it turned into a really fun summer look. And yeah, it did go a little bit more pink than I was thinking, but I really like all the glitter in this look. It really is a fun look to do during the summer. And so if you have heavy petal, I would say definitely go ahead and get it back out because it's definitely a summer kind of palette. And um, there are all sorts of gold looks and uh, bronzy peachy looks that you could do as well with this palette. Um, like I said, it was on sale over at the ColourPop website as well. And um, I'm reevaluating my thinking on the jelly mud shadows. I really thought that they were going to dry out on me really quickly. And I've had this one for, I think six months maybe a little bit longer and it hasn't dried out on me yet so yeah that's a good thing i also just got a new chili mint shadow from the precious metals and this one is in most wanted so this is a bronzier color but i'm really liking the formula and i think it has a lot of sparkle to it so that's always really fun and other than that um oh one other thing did go ahead and use the Sungasm powder, um, and this is a really light pink powder to go ahead and use as a finishing powder. And with that, I think that's the video for today, and I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.